What's up, mentorship freaks? This is the mentorship motivator dropping daily bombs. Today, we're going to talk about prioritizing, prioritizing the big rocks. What are the big rocks? How do you prioritize? So there was a book, I forget which one it was, one of the ones by Jocko. They talk about prioritize and execute. That's a, a common term in the military, prioritize and execute and keeping it simple. You have to think when, and, and you think for yourself, right? Because you set your priorities for your day and your schedule. And this, this piggybacks off of what we talked about yesterday about developing your team. You do all this stuff for yourself, but then are you also helping your team prioritize? Are you helping your team and your admin and your coaches and your front desk? They should also be prioritizing. They should also know what their order of priority is when they're in there. So they're not just confused. They shouldn't just have a random checklist that's all over the place. It should be set up in order of priority and should be explained how they should navigate it, how they should go about it. So let's think. Let's say you have a guy a hundred feet away from you with a gun and you have a but he's looking off in the distance. You have a person right next to you with a knife. Now what's the priority right there? That you need to handle that person with a knife right off the bat. There might be someone else with a fist that's 50 feet away from you. You don't have to worry about him right now. You need to worry about that guy with the knife right there. So you need to know what your priorities are. But priorities can change. That guy with the knife could wander off and miss you and run off over here. Now the guy 100 feet away could start pointing the gun at you. Now all of a sudden, that's a priority. You better figure out and get some cover. Get some cover and concealment. So your priorities can change, but your team needs to know. You wake up in the morning, you set your big three things, right? You're following the our daily debriefs and you're, you're planning and you're prioritizing. You know what you're going to be hammering out the next day. You know what the top key priorities for the next day does your team know what the key top priorities are for the next day? Do your, your management, your leadership team, and also are you teaching them how to get through that? Like how to work through it. Like for instance, our admin, you know, one of their top things is going through payments. Payments, decline payments, new payments that need to be processed, any, any kind of complaints from the, from members and then going through leads and following up with, you know, messages coming in, emails and all that stuff. Then there's stuff down the list like, sending out birthday cards and all this other stuff that they do way down on the list. So if all that first stuff is not done and they're working on birthday cards or they're working on whatever it else, setting up, putting a whiteboard up or something, something that's totally way down on the list of priorities, you know, and they're t they have 15 things, but really the top six are their main thing. And it should be done in that order. They, sh they know every day. It's like, I'm doing this until it's done, knocking it out, knocking it out. They even know the, and then each of those even has sub priorities within it within the payments is it decline payments is it new payments is it payments going through tomorrow and leads are they leads that never been contacted are they leads that have been contacted only once already is it leads been contacted six times already is it leads from six months ago so they even have sub priorities in the list of those priorities so you need to make sure your team knows the difference teach them the difference and coach them exactly how to go throughout the day otherwise they're just going to be overwhelmed and freaking swamped with all kinds of stuff Throughout the day, you've probably seen that that stud that that test, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, experiment, where it's the jar and they put in the there's there's a pile of rocks, a pile of pebbles, and a pile of sand. So they put all the sand in first, they put all the pebbles in second, and they went to go put all the big rocks in. There was no space for the rocks; they were overflowing all over the place. They dump it all out, the exact same three piles, the exact same amount of rocks, pebbles, and sand. They put the big rocks in first, strategically placed in the bottom. They put the pebbles in first, wedged in where they could fit in, and poured the sand in, and it all fit in the jar. The same jar that they didn't fit in at first. So the point is, those rocks, those big rocks are your top priorities. You can't be wasting time on the little small shit on the freaking sand. And I even go as far as to think about putting water in there, and then air. Too many times, you'll see yourself and even your team fucking wasting time on air and water when they should be on rocks. Rocks only. Only rocks and pebbles. And they should clearly know what their big rocks are. What are their little rocks? What is their sand? What is their water? What is their air? Like the shit that if it doesn't even get, if I don't even get to it for weeks, that air and water, who cares? Of course, some of that stuff like the small rocks and the sand is going to be important shit, but it's not, it's not priority. It doesn't like, you, I sit there in the morning and I color coat my checklist for big rocks, small rocks, sand, water, everything in there so that I know. And, and there's never a day 
that I will complete my entire checklist. Never. Never a day, and I don't ever want to, because there's always so much to do. You can always have shit to do for your business. But there's also never a day that I don't knock out those big rocks before 9 a.m., unless it's a meeting or something that has, that's time-sensitive, that has to get scheduled later. There's never a time I won't knock off those big rocks before 9 a.m. So then I could technically take the rest of the day off and have a peace of mind knowing that I've already done the big things. I've already done the major moving shit in my day by 9 or maybe noon, depending on depending on the day, different days of the week, but usually by 9 a.m. And each position needs to know the difference between those. They need to have clear cut priorities. What am I worried about? What am I focusing on? Like, say there's five things on a, on a list of priorities. There's one, two, three, four, five, right? And my admin is working on number three. They've already completed one and two. I happen to come into the to the gym, to the business, and this happened actually a, a little while ago. And I need I had a, a little package I wanted to get sent out, I had a t-shirt and some stuff to an old MMA coach of mine. He's doing some great things in Las Vegas. And he's doing all kinds of charity work. He runs a free school in Las Vegas, a free MMA school. He gets paid nothing for it. I visited out there. He welcomed me in. So I wanted to send him a package after when I got back to New York. So I walk in. I asked the admin to send out the package. Now, this was this was a while ago. So this was a mistake I made. They stopped doing what they're doing, that priority, high priority level three, and to go deal with this package, to go send out to this guy. Now priority level three didn't get done, and that's some important stuff. Now their leader, team leader's asking, so why didn't you finish this stuff here and they're gonna, they're gonna, it, their answer is going to be, oh, Steve needed me to do this. See, that was my poor communication on, and now we train them in onboarding. It's like, here's your priority list. One, two, three, four, five, six. If something comes up in the day, even if I come in and specifically, personally ask you to do something for me, if you're on priority three and that thing plugs into maybe priority eight on your list, like in that category, guess when you get to that? When you get down to that on your list. That's when you get to it. You don't stop. You can't stop what you're doing. They need to understand that. That unless I tell them maybe it's time sensitive or something, and maybe I needed that thing to get there by tomorrow for an event that they had coming up in Las Vegas, then it's a different story if it's time sensitive. Make that clear. And guess what? If they don't get to that, I don't even care. I don't give a fuck if they didn't get to it. I don't care. They could not get to it. And... But I do expect them to let me know by the end of the day, you know what, I was working on this, 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 and this. I didn't get to that. I'll get to it as soon as possible tomorrow. Once I get to this other stuff taken care of, I'll let you know when it's done. Simple. I don't even have to follow up with it. I'm not worried about it. It's going to get done. It's not a huge thing. It wasn't time sensitive. They should know where things fall in. And not just that's like a personal thing that's getting done. Even within the business, something can happen anytime at that, in the day that pops in. If it, where, if the issue get plugged into the priority list, wherever, wherever it is on the list, it shouldn't automatically take top priority because that's the newest thing that came in. Of course, incoming phone calls, stuff like that's a different story because that's like immediate and you need immediate attention. But also realize, and, and this is going to make the day go smooth for you, for your team, for your freaking staff. It's going to make shit just go smooth. And if you knock out your priorities, you teach them everyone the same way. Cause if this goes back again to yesterday of, leveling up your team with you. You're learning all this stuff. You're making priorities. You're setting goals and and these debriefs you do. But then you just let your team run in the fucking wild west and that shit ain't going to cut it. That's not going to work. It's not, it's going to clash. It's going to clash. So it's going to keep you smooth and have like a peace of mind the rest of the day knowing that you did what you should be doing for that day. You got the big stuff done for that day. Now, of course, emergencies can come up. So let's say, and we're just using an example of our business, of course, apply it to your business as always. So let's say that Admin is doing payments. They're on top priority stuff. They're on the first thing, of course, money, money tasks first, always. And customer service stuff, you know, problems or complaints, something like that. That's always first. That is a top of the list, top priority above all else. They're working on that. And there's, let's say, a session going on. I don't know. We're just saying. And a member trips and falls and twists her ankle. Now, that immediately, is that on their priority list? Of course, you need some common sense and you need to you know, make the decision, have some decision-making skills. Okay, now that takes over priority. Or a member gets sick and pukes on the floor. Of course, you don't want someone to puke. I can't stand when when you see on YouTube some dumbass in some workout and they're puking in a bucket in the middle of the gym with their with their trainer and they're like, oh, this is, this is an awesome workout. Yeah, I finished puking. Let's get back to working out. If your goal is to puke during a workout, you're a fucking idiot. That's besides the point. It was getting off track just because I you've seen that before. You just You just... Fucking puked away all your fuel and all your nutrients that you need to get to the workout. So I've never puked during a workout and I don't plan to. I've gotten 
whatever, you get nauseous, whatever, not that it's a goal, it's never, it should be a goal. Anyway, that's besides the point. I remember pukes on the floor, and they're doing top, the admin's doing top priority stuff. Guess what? Is it in your priorities? Sure, it is in there somewhere. Make sure the gym is clean, even though we have a cleaning crew, we have front desk and trainers, it's everyone's job to clean it up, but that's on the admin when it comes to their actual priorities. You know, straightening up the gym in the front desk area is low down, but something like that happens immediately, that puke on the floor that's happening right now, that's going to supersede anything, including payments. They have to make those decisions and know when to stop doing that top priority thing, bang that out, boom, 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 clean up the puke, even though it's not in your job description, sometimes we just got to clean up some shit, right? So then get right back to those priority tasks that you're doing. It's going to keep things simple, simple, big rocks. Once the big rocks are done, then the small rocks, then the pebbles, then the sand, then the water, then the freaking air. It's going to keep it easy. And also, not trying to, they'll try to multitask. They'll try to do a big rock while they're doing some small task shit on the side. Some, some sand on the side, thinking they could do it. Because, oh, it's just sand, so I could kind of go back and forth. All that's going to do is make that big rock get shit performance. That's all that's going to do, is a shit performance on the big rock. And that's a shit that needs laser beam focus one thing at a time. Like, the slower you go, the faster you're going to go. Another, another military saying you've probably heard is slow is smooth. And I even add into that, or slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And I even add into that, fast is usually sloppy and sloppy is slow. So they try to rush, they try to do those big rocks while they're doing the sand at the same time, and it's all fucked up. The sand, that wasn't even important. Maybe it gets done because it's so easy. The big rock gets screwed up, probably didn't get completely the right way because there's no focus trying to multitask. I hate when I see on a resume, I'm a master at multitasking. That just tells me you're probably overwhelmed. You're probably all over the place. And of course, there is some, whatever, whatever. We're not gonna, that's a whole different story. But so slow, nice and slow on those big rocks because slow is going to be smooth. Smooth is going to be simple. Simple and smooth is going to be fast and effective and efficient and get stuff done. It's going to be quicker than if you try to do that shit fast or try to multitask stuff at the same time. So again, the stuff you learn, you need to teach to your team. You need to let that shit go down to them. When it comes to these priorities, get them there, teach them their priorities, make it clear, reorganize your standard operating procedures with them. Make sure they are aware of what exactly what's expected of them with their job, with their priorities, what they should do first, and then how to rearrange it, how to navigate it, when to skip over something, when not to skip over something, as we just mentioned and talked about. So get your shit together, get your priorities straight, get your team's priorities straight, everything, the stuff you're learning, you need to pass it down to them in some way or another or else to get you on the same page. So I will talk to you later. This is the daily episode of the Mentorship Motivator. I will talk to you later. No excuses. Oh yeah, and you are fucking awesome.